Well, still on this issue now, let's uh, talk with uh, journalists in Ghana, Della Michelle. Thank you very much for joining us all the way from Accra, Ghana. So how much of the true picture of sexual harassment in Ghana's campuses was projected in the BBC documentary that we saw yesterday? Mm. Um, thank you very much for having me. I'll say that, let me start with a report that just um, aired about the situation not being new. I mean, it's always been rumored that this is the situation happening in most of the universities in Ghana, to be more specific. Um, Legon is just one of the universities that unfortunately was caught uh, during the documentary by BBC. But the report about this sex for great has always been rumored in our universities. And there's always that thing that we say we're looking for the evidence to support these rumors. So the BBC documentary was more of like a revelation or more of like the evidence that was needed by those who'd never believed the rumors that sex for grace was actually ongoing in the universities of um, in the universities here in Ghana. Right. The representation so of the situation in the documentary, I would say that with just two lecturers being implicated, did not capture what students or what the Ghanaians were expecting in the documentary. And uh what more then uh, would, you know, further cement the true picture of sexual harassment in Ghana's campuses? What what more uh, would are people telling you that what that wasn't you know included in in that documentary? Well, for example, there were some lecturers that some of some of the students who be it an old student or current student at the university had encountered. So just the two names that came up was more of like, what about the other lecturers who are doing it? How come they were not involved in this particular, in this particular um, documentary? So the question was, now that the evidence is out there, will the school authorities believe us now that when we say that these things are happening on campus, when uh, female students especially are being subjected to, um, you know, favors like this from from lecturers just to pass. But then the conversation has also been that let's not be in a hurry to justify the female lecture, the female students and say that the male lecturers are bad because that's, there's been some debate that sometimes even the female lecturers put themselves on the male lecturers and some male students even attack um, female lecturers. So it has now actually brought up a debate that is ongoing in the country, really the sex for grades in the university how deep is it? And now most of the people, for instance, today I spoke with the chairman of the anti-sexual committee at the University of Ghana, who was saying that they've actually been hearing this rumor. They've been hearing it since, um, you know, I would say that 60 years ago. But now, now they have the evidence by the BBC. They are now going to put in more efforts, even though All right. before... Efforts were made Taylor, complaints. Not let me complaints. also, uh, you know, ask about uh, Professor Yor's uh, response now to this documentary. So he said he's going to sue uh, the BBC. He's also said the, the the lady in question wasn't even his student. What's been the reaction now to this defense from Professor Yor Gambo? Well, it's been a mixed reaction to start with. First of all, the university is showing support by saying that they are also going to investigate into the matter on their own to find out if truly Professor Jampo and the other professor named in the video were actually involved in what they call the sex for great. Because mind you, the debate from the university has been that the video indicated that it was sex for great, but they didn't see the actual um, sexual um, relation between the people. So they are also going to investigate and find out. Professor Jampo going to say that he wants to go ahead and sue the BBC has also been a debate on the table. Really, people are saying that he had the opportunity to, first of all, preview this video that was brought out by the BBC, and he had the opportunity to make the claims. But it looks like his claims were being dumped, quote unquote, by BBC, and that the documentary still went ahead. So truly, how um, innocent is he? So we are just hoping that he will come. I, I understand that when the, when the university wrote to the BBC, it was first rejected, saying that they should rather write an official letter to the legal team of BBC, and they would know what to go about it. So right now, we're just waiting right. for BBC's response. All right. I mean, Professor Jump said he's suing them. Let's All see right. what happens. Dela Michelle, thank you very much for your contributions on uh, TVC News. Uh, Dela Michelle is a journalist with uh, GH1 TV in Ghana.